got a couple minutes, don't take a seat. Sit back, relax, take a drink with me. I'm trying not to drink. I tell you what I think. The things you can expect when you wash and drink with Shank. What up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Drink with Shank. Got another special episode for y'all today. Got the homeboy Junior in the house. Came through with these beers. I'm gonna let him talk about it. Um, first of all, how do you pronounce this thing? It's Glosh. Glosh. It's a Dutch beer. I'm gonna go with Gross. Gross. Uh, premium Pilsner beer. Dutch. Yeah, that's a Dutch beer. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. A little top of heads. Has a different top that I'm not used to seeing. My homeboy Junior is going to show you how to open this baby. It is popping bottles, baby. Let me try. Hopefully, I don't blow it up. Pretty dope. Doesn't have a like a smell to it. I learned over the years of drinking beer, uh, the color of the bottle it tells you how much sunlight goes into the bottle. I see green bottles and I think right away Heineken. Obviously, there's more green bottles out there, but that's the one that we see a lot more here in the states. I did have a Peruvian Pilsner, Pilsen, I believe it was called. That was a green bottle as well. Yeah, I seen that one at the beer store. Three thoughts. It has like a Heineken taste. Not a, like a, a heavy taste, but it's like a bold taste. But it's not, not as heavy. I feel like it's very smooth. Not too bitter. It's not bitter at all, to be honest. It's like a Dos Equis. It's like a Dos Equis Amber. Mixing with the green one. This is sitting at 5% ABV, by the way. Talking about those seconds, I don't remember it. It's under four. Yeah, it's like a 4.2 or 4.0. I, I, I know it's no more than 4.5. And that being said, it's, this is still smooth, even though it's a 5%. So, Budweiser is 5%. And I feel like this tastes better than Budweiser. I mean, it's a pretty good beer. Would I buy it? Probably yeah, but it won't be like my go-to beer. It probably be like a beer where I'm like, does that have something different? This, this being a Dutch beer, and the fact that I've tried it now, if I ever see it, I'll I'll pick it up again. It has a good taste. You have to drink harsh. it real cold. Oh yeah, I can see that. I can see the taste getting worse as it gets warm. For this bottle, I pay. Two ninety, get all the ninety cents at total wine. I got this one because of the, the top. Top so you can. Actually, you can. Wow. You see the points right there. Oh, not that we don't finish it in the one sitting, but you know, maybe you gotta go somewhere. You don't want to leave it unattended. You will be dropping things in your drink. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Pop that thing right back on there. You see the ball. Pretty dope, and it keeps it fresh. Yeah. Hell yeah. Especially if you out mowing mowing the grass. You want no peas uh, to get up in that thing? Like uh, uh like my friend Rudy that mows the grass all the time. He has a rod and I'm one. Puts it in his back door cup holder. Oh, I think I heard that he put that thing on dubs. Holler. He's doing it big. So on here we got the GB logo on there. Got two little hops. It's like some keys or something right there under that. With 1615. Assuming they, this company was established back then. The breweries uh, started in uh, 1615. Alright, that's the date they, they got on the bottle. It was founded on 1615. The taste is uh, has a, a fresh, hoppy note. Owl, citric, buttery taste. Actually, to me, to be honest, actually, this one in the Heineken, actually, I probably would buy this. Me and myself, I actually prefer not overly high here. Feel that that's the one cool thing about this channel. I get to try out sorts of different types of beer that I probably wouldn't have tried. Getting to try out new different things. I haven't seen this bottle before, 
But sometimes when you don't know what beer is, you kind of just look right over it. You might not even see it just because you don't know what it is. So, uh, but I feel like I would have seen this top. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever seen this type of top before. And I feel like if I would have seen it, I would have at least have recognized it. I was just like, just glance at it because I was like, that's by all the crap stuff. And paying 10 bucks for four beers and then, and then you can pay, you know, six, seven dollars more and get a 12 pack of Modelo. It's like, ah, but okay. Modelo, what life or what, or whatever. You know, you think not, man, but these advertisements, they work. You know what I'm saying? You're watching TV, you're watching a fight. You know what I'm saying? Modelo, boom. I'm going to go pick up a Modelo. You're watching commercial Super Bowl. You got a Budweiser. You're going to go pick up a Budweiser. Advertisement works, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure I would have seen this before, even if it's like a commercial or a billboard. I'm be like, hey man, we'll check that out. I'm digging this. I'm gonna give it a three stars out of five. Good flavor. Smooth going down. It's getting a little warm right now, and it still has a good flavor. I was giving it a little bit of chance to kind of go down. Sometimes when it warms up, the taste just goes right away to the left. Not the case in this situation. I dig it. If I see it again, I probably would try it again. Hey, what do you rate it? Uh, I give it a four. The taste, not as harsh like, like the picture, you know, the price. The fact that it's 5%, I'm comparing it just as far as, not taste wise, just percentage wise. Budweiser. Budweiser. But I think this is way better than a Budweiser. Put these two in front of me, I'm going to choose this one. But I still think it's a Bug Irish beer. I like it. The fact that it's a good amount of ABV, you can't lose. And then you said the price? The price, two fifty dollars for each one of these in total. Actually, it's not getting me full at all. Yeah. It's going out smooth yeah. and it's not heavy. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you bringing these babies through. Appreciate y'all tuning in, checking this channel out. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your homies. Comment down below. Let me know if you want us to try anything else. Hit that and like button. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Until next time. Cheers. Peace. Go Cowboys. Peace, y'all.